one. Well, I'm meteorologist John Marshall. Have you been enjoying our, uh, let's say, May-like temperatures, especially for your Friday? Folks, these are the current readings um, this Thursday afternoon at about 4 o'clock. Look at the spike in temperatures into the 70s in Chicago. Okay, it was in the lower 60s in New York City. Again, these are the current readings at 4 o'clock. The mid-70s over the mid-plains, there is a bubble of warmth that is coming our way. So if you like temperatures that we've had uh, in the lower 60s the last several days, you're going to love Friday's forecast. It will feel more like May. I'm going for a high of 68 degrees in Central Park. So that is more typical of May 3rd. Now, it's not a record. The record high for tomorrow is 73. But we are in this really warm bubble of high pressure that has been dominating our country. But back to the west, you can see temperatures are falling back into the 30s. There is a significant cold front on the way, for those of you that love cold weather, for Sunday. But until then, let's enjoy the fabulous weather. Unfortunately, though, we've been looking at uh, the uh, very dry conditions. Yes, there has been some significant rain over parts of the area over the last five days. But unfortunately, um, the areas north of New York City have been now placed in extreme drought conditions for the Mid-Hudson Valley, northwestern Connecticut. Um, extreme western New Jersey missed the bulk of that rain about two to three days ago. So it is incredibly dry around here. Rainfall deficits are anywhere between 6 and 15 inches for the year to date. And the reservoir levels right now are about 20% below capacity. They should be at about 75% capacity. We're between 55 and 57% of capacity. So all in all, it has been very dry. And unfortunately, the next five days, uh, doesn't, we don't see any significant rain or snow because we will be getting colder. What I'm going to show you, the next two uh, sequence of loops, the first loop is the, uh, the GFS, the American model. And um, we're talking meteorology here. And this is what us meteorologists look at. And then I'm going to show you the European model for the next five to seven days. So the GFS model does show a ridge of high pressure that is beginning, giving us this warmth. Here is the significant cold front that will be developing for Friday. Look at these thicknesses. And again, I'm just talking weather here. 564. Folks, some areas in New Jersey may push 70. Then Saturday night, the cold front comes through and, whew, baby, it gets cold around here. Temperatures drop like a rock for uh, Sunday into Monday. High pressure Monday into Tuesday. Our next weather maker next week looks to come around Thanksgiving Day. Will it be warm enough or cold enough for snow? It doesn't look so right now. The system looks diffuse in, with the GFS. But now we're really taking out in time to Thanksgiving weekend. The GFS wants to develop something offshore. I'm not a big fan of long-range forecasts. You know that. Here's the European. Tomorrow, 564 thickness, screaming through the Mid-Hudson Valley. We're pushing 65, 70. Here comes the real cold front uh, Saturday night. And again, very windy, very cold Sunday, scattered rain and snow showers into Monday, very chilly. Monday into Tuesday, these isobars, the line of equal pressure, begin to relax. Tuesday, Wednesday, the travel day looks good. Thursday, I'm a European. Well, we've got an area of low pressure developing. The European wants to develop a more significant area of low pressure. For Thursday, it looks, at this model verbatim, looks too warm to be anything but rain. And then by the weekend, that thing gets out of here. So all in all, the next five days around here, tomorrow, really a, a warm push, feeling like May. Going for 68 degrees in New York City. Um, that is typical for May 3rd or 4th. Again, the record high is 73. Saturday, we're going to do it one more time, baby. Temperatures will be in the lower 60s. It's going to be a, a beautiful start to the weekend. And then there it comes. The bottom drops out of the thermometer. We go into the 40s for highs, a cold blast, windy conditions, scattered rain, that is not a, a, a mistake there, and snow showers for a Sunday, okay? And it looks like ski country, northern New England, will get possibly several inches of snow, so they're going to get a, a bit of a base going, thankfully, right, for next weekend, as a lot of people do go skiing for Thanksgiving. And then Monday, wind chills will be in the 30s. Highs will be in the 40s, and by Tuesday, still nipping the air. And I went out um, today to Dinellan, and I visited uh, these kids at Faber Elementary in Dinellan uh, that was K through 5. They had a blast. They knew their weather. Folks, if you want your school to get involved in a, a highly uh, dynamic, interactive, 
and Curriculum Tailored Weather Program, reach out to me. It's, uh, it's a fantastic program. Your administration will love it, the educators, and especially the kids, because they're learning about weather from a TV weather guy, and plus they're getting in front of the green screen, like I've got behind me, believe it or not, and they see how TV weather is done. So all in all, you can get your five-day forecast. You can get all that information at www.johnmarshallweather.com. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your Friday. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.